Guys, welcome back to the channel today. I've brought you to the most special place that I've ever been, okay? Think about this right now. We're about to upgrade the royalty lifestyle with a brand new taco grill. Check it out. Can you believe this? We got places Onion, for onions, cilantro, we can store meat in here. Lemons or limes. Wow, all right. Got this is table. going in the backyard uh, of my house because every week, we have uh, football parties, we've got UFC parties, yeah. we're gonna kill it, all right? But there's also a reason why I brought Jesse here. Now, Jesse, tell everybody why in the world you would ever consider selling your single turbo 590 horsepower Supra because I think you're crazy. Actually, I don't, I hate Supras, but just FYI, that's just me. All right, opinion? <laughs> just because it's, you know, it's a Toyota. <laughs> oh, might have to edit that out. We're gonna bleep that. Jesse, listen, you live and breathe and die, Supra. Yes, Why I today? Do. You were telling me you don't want it anymore because if you guys saw our last video, we went down to Dallas Performance and we all took a ride in a couple thousand horsepower Lamborghini and that changed the game. Now, you guys know that the Ragnarok I'm building has a twin turbo 5.0 Gallardo motor. It's gonna make over 1500 horsepower and it's gonna change the world, right? Because it just sounds so good. But what happened, Jesse, when you rode in that car? It just, you know, it, it blew my mind. It changed my whole lifestyle, changed everything. I was like, I want something better, and you can only achieve it by getting something better. So if anybody wants a 1997, 95,000 mile, white on black, single turbo Supra with a Focal audio system, it is now on eBay. We'll put a link in the description below. Jesse's car is for sale, but it's not why we just came to this amazing place to buy this beautiful grill. Guys, take a walk back with me. Let's show Jesse some surprise. Jesse, are you ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready yet. Cause you know, son, he doesn't, he doesn't son know. to Supra, it's, it's a big deal for me. He doesn't you know? know why we're here, but I found him the perfect project Gallardo, right here, right there. Black, wow. Hold on. Black. Are, are you not surprised that there's a Lamborghini graveyard in the back of the kitchen equipment store? I'm very surprised first time <laughs> I've been here. I was, I was not expecting this. What, what is this? Oh, geez. There's, he's, there's he's, parts everywhere. He's faking it. We've been back here before. I was just trying to show you guys like all cinematic, but it wasn't going down that way. Anyways, right here in the back of this beautiful kitchen equipment store up front, you've got a, a Lamborghini graveyard. We've got Mercy Lagos on Mercy's. Huracan's in the back, four, five, eights. Check this out, look. Super Legera. I'm not sure I would have wanted to been in this car, but uh, that area of the car is missing. Right there? Yeah, yeah. look at this. Check this out. The four, five, eight, right here. Uh, it was white and now it's black. It's a burn victim. Yep, it is. That went to the uh, ICU for the burn unit. Didn't make it out alive. Uh oh. Not talking about the people. We're talking about the car. Okay, guys. All right. Well, we hope the people are okay. We're, no, I think all the people in here are okay because I think if someone um, uh, doesn't make it, I don't think they sell the car. I know this uh, car doesn't look like much right now. And there's a lot of guys out there who buy, uh, no, I don't, this is not a salvage car. This is, was just a car that was taken apart. And uh, we managed to get uh, a really, really good opportunity right here because this is a black on black 2006 Gallardo Coupe. These are super duper rare cars now. And it's very difficult to find one that is gonna be a six speed manual, which this car will be a six speed manual. Currently right now, it's an E-gear, but Jesse is gonna show you guys how to convert a, an e-gear car to a six-speed manual. Plus, what are we gonna do to the car? It's your car, not mine. We are gonna twin turbo this sucker. Twin turbo, all right. Now, six-speed, twin turbo, are you going all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? Because you have the option on Gallardo. I don't Gallardo's. know yet, because you know, all-wheel drive is more stable, a little more safe, but when we go rear-wheel drive, it's just crazy. It's a, it's, a pretty ex, it's a pretty extreme experience. So the car we drove in in, in, in Dallas was 
all wheel drive, but I've been in a rear wheel drive thousand horsepower Gallardo before, and it was, I wasn't able to really experience it. It was an E gear car, so it didn't really yeah. push it that fast. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking all wheel drive because I like the launch game. Okay. Maybe. Uh, we're gonna get billet axles. We're gonna get huge turbos. We're gonna do it really big. So, um, what do we have to do to get your car to speed? Well, you can tell here our ABS stuff is not here. No fenders, no bumpers, no headlights. But it's a good thing. It's gonna be a good learning experience. Because... Wait, just there's fenders on the floor over here. Whoa. Whoa. But yeah, fenders are there. They're just not on the car. Okay, these are all the frame pieces that go there to attach the fenders. We're collecting all of the parts from um, a couple of different cars. You know, obviously this fender actually came from that car. It was wrapped. This fender came from that white Super Laguerre over there. These frame pieces came from this car. They were wrapped. Uh, the trunk liners over here. Let's look inside the car and uh, see what we we're missing over there. I did collect a couple little pieces, but inside here, the doors, Completely hollow, no glass, no uh, interior pieces. We don't even have the door locks. You can't even shut the door. Behind the seats. We need a cover. We've got no ECUs. Some ECUs. We're going to need those. We're definitely going to need the ECUs. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah it looks like it's pre-wired for a subwoofer. That's cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, well, no radio. No AC vents. Got a cluster. But I feel like the AC vents, you get more AC if you have no vents. I know it doesn't look as cool, but like it'll be way stronger. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, they got some pretty weak vents in here. They break all the time. It's true. So what about your airbag, bro? Yeah. Ah, who needs airbags? Race car. Race car. No airbags. That is uh, Hashtag airbag deployment. It's uh, Right here is probably about 20 pounds we're going to shave off without the airbag, you know? <laughs> so, you know. All right, so check out the rear engine bay because this is a big plus about the car. Jesse? V10, can't get any better than this. What, what V10 is this though? Because nobody really knows that there's two different Lamborghini V10s. I mean, it's the 5.0, right? And the 5.2. Yeah. So inside the 5.0, they've got a different firing order for the pistons, they've got different heads, and they've got a different intake manifold. This is not plastic. Yes. Huracan and LP560's plastic, plastic intakes. This is the best V10 engine ever made in the whole world, okay? Now that transmission there is the E-Gear transmission, but a lot of people don't know that the E-Gear transmission and the manual transmission is exactly the same with the exception of this piece right here. This is called an E-Gear actuator. This E-Gear actuator acts like a little robot moving the clutch for you and the shift fork. So the manual transmission is actually the E-Gear transmission, right? So if you follow me, it's the same. It's just a little tiny mechanism, right? That goes on top of the transmission and we're able to use just one single paddle instead of pushing a clutch and doing all this stuff. So kind of a smart thing for 2004 from Lamborghini, but not really that much fun in 2018 for us that want to modify cars. Well, most people don't know, right? How much more was it to go from six speed to e-gear? I think back in 2004 to 2006, it was 10,000. And then it went up to 12 or $15,000. And it's crazy to me is that from 04 to 08, which is the 5.0, that the majority of six speed cars are 04s, right? E-gear didn't really catch on until about 2006. So if you look around at the used market, most six-speed cars are 2004, yeah. which are not the best years to buy. You do not want to buy the first made ever Lamborghini. So an 04 Lamborghini Gallardo is definitely not the one to buy. You want to wait to 06. Now 07, 08, same as 06, and then 09 they changed the engine to the LP cars, which is pretty much 20 to 40 manuals in that area yeah, there except many. the balboni the balboni was a special edition rear wheel drive manual car only but that's a very unique car as well there's a lot of information that the gallardos have i mean a lot of information that the uh internet doesn't really share about the gallardos these days and this is one of the most valuable cars for eighty thousand dollars now i got a quick question before uh we're gonna put a a big wing on this you know, I don't actually think they make one. So if you look at the back of the Huracan, 
And I was looking at it because I was like, oh, maybe we'll join the big Wang gang, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. no, nah, that's, that's not our thing. But exposed twin turbos might look pretty cool with just some taillights. Now, you can look at the Underground Racing, Dallas Performance, all those companies' pictures, and they have exposed twin turbos yeah. already, which looks really, really cool. What's up with your wheels, bro? I think these are uh, Audi R8 wheels. Pretty sure. What's up with your brakes, man? Brembo brakes. Is that that's OEM or that's the not? Technically, it's OEM because you know the Lamborghini original brakes and rotors are Brembo's. Um, well, you do a brake job on one of these cars, they send you Brembo brake pads from the dealer. So technically, it's probably the same thing. Don't know for sure, I guess, but I think so. Seems like you need to upgrade there, but uh, don't we have uh, some uh, Super Leggera rims at the shop? <laughs> I have some Super Leggera rims at yeah. the shop from my Gallardo. And, my and personal one. He's gonna one. go on this car. Oh, he's gonna go on this car. I'm just gonna mount them myself and put them on. You'll never know. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna know. Anyways, guys, we're gonna put the pieces together. We're gonna load this thing in the trailer. I've got to make a quick trip over to Camarillo, California, to drop off. Uh, just come over here with me. This is like a little sneak peek. I gotta drop this off over in uh, Camarillo, California. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but um, if anybody does, shoot us in the comments below. I'm gonna do an optional transmission upgrade for the Ragnarok. All right, we'll see you guys very soon. Give us about 30, 40 minutes to get this all set up. We'll be right back. So uh, since we came here to get Jesse's car, which I want to remind you guys, he's buying, not me. I'm just kind of like bridging the gap between selling the Supra and getting the car. Just FYI, I'd not buy my friend a supercar, okay? But I did go shopping while I was here. <laughs> and uh, I got a couple of Ragnarok pieces. We've got this engine right here, okay, that we just got. Engine, transmission, we got a dual clutch Huracan transmission. Don't know what that's for yet. I do, but you guys don't. And uh, what else did we get? Hmm. We've got some uh, brake discs over here. Oh, fancy. That's beautiful, huh? Brand new. Brand new. see got Huracan carbon ceramic brake discs looks like the parts are shared between a few different models very nice uh, let's see what else do we get a lot of pieces for Jesse's car here and uh, get this ABS unit found that so now we get oh, to plug. Nice. You got it now you get to plug this in right here like this okay it just goes in just like that Beautiful. Now Jesse's car is ABS. When? Hmm. I, I actually had like a lot more things to show you guys, but we've kind of already put them in a box. So I'm gonna have to show you the box after. Hey, you know what's after. pretty cool that I thought of right now? What? You remember in Fast and Furious when uh, Brian O'Connor bought the 10-second car to Vin Diesel? Yeah. Got a 200 mile per hour car now. Hey! hey. 10 second car. Oh yeah? yeah Jesse, yeah. we found your new engine. Yeah! Right here. Cool, I'll look it up right now. Very nice. I think we can bring Which it back Which one do you want? Life. Do you want this one? Here, there's a couple. Here. I think that one over there. This one? Yeah, that's the one. You're thriving, man. You're really thriving. I'm trying to do it, you know, I'm trying to change the game. Yeah, forgot that I found one more piece. Uh, Jesse, What's up? are you interested in uh, buying this for me? Because uh, uh, I am very interested. <laughs> I I may have found uh, some parts here that I don't know uh, what it is though. I think it's only worth like two thousand dollars. Maybe just a little bit more. Times that by ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, we've got a, a very beautiful uh, situation going on right here. So we will uh, make this 
much, much, much better. Newer turbos, newer wastegates, newer everything. Okay, what else do I need? flex, bro. Lift that, lift that. <sighs> Look at that set. Set. Look at this, Look right here though, right here. What? Look at that forearm set. <laughs> Last step, we're gonna put this Gallardo in that trailer with uh, our new handy Gym Glow winch, okay? So, I drop. knew, I, I, I guess, drop. yeah. We're not sponsored by Gym Glow, but they make some cool trailers. And we just upgraded with the uh, electric winch. So basically, this will be the first time of us using it. It's gonna pull the Gallardo right up. Back in the car, Jesse, I have to ask you, how excited are you right now? I am super stoked, man. When I first bought my Supra, I was really excited. Didn't think I was gonna own one, but had no idea I would ever, ever own a Lambo. Thanks to my best friend, Houston. You know, he called me two years ago when I was doing my cop thing. And he's like, hey man, you wanna come out here and do some work with me? I said, for sure, I will do it. Then everything was gonna happen, and I worked really, really hard for two years, and Houston has a great idea of helping me get my Lambo that I worked really hard to achieve, and Houston helped make that happen. I so. mean, you know, it's not all like that. Jesse busted his ass. He knows how to work. He does a great job. He earns his money. I didn't I didn't pay for anything. It's, he's gonna buy the Lambo himself. But I'm just saying, like, imagine being a cop and, and, and taking that whole lifestyle and in two years transforming it. Everybody watching our videos, I'm just trying to reiterate over and over and over again. I was a cable guy, Jesse was a cop. He was a security guard at one point. Like, life is so easy. You just gotta grab it, take it, and get it done. It's all about work. It's not about, like, luck or any of that stuff. That's all ridiculous. Work. We work 80, 90 hours a week, every week. Now Jesse has a Lambo, and I'm building my own hyper car, all right? Just pay attention, everybody that's listening and learning and watching right now, you guys could be in this position too. Just work hard. And if you guys like Jesse's new car, watch some more videos, subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications, and give us a thumbs up on the way out. We're headed right now to do an update on the Ragnarok, so we'll check back next video.